Justified is an American crime drama. It's a television series that premiered back in March of 2010 on the FX network. It's based on the Elmore Leonard novels about the character Raylan Givens, deputy U.S. Marshal, who enforces his own brand of justice. This series revolves around the inhabitants and culture in the Appalachian Mountains area of Eastern Kentucky, specifically Harlan County, where many of the main characters grew up. It also features Lexington, Kentucky, where the local U.S. Marshal's office is situated. This series had 78 episodes and it aired over six seasons. The last episode was in April of 2015. Now, Deputy U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens is a 19th century style Old West lawman living in modern times whose unconventional law enforcement of justice makes him a target of criminals and a problem child to his U.S. Marshal Service supervisor. In response to his controversial but quote unquote justified quick draw shooting of mob hitman Tommy Bucks in Miami, Givens is reassigned to Lexington, Kentucky. The Eastern District of Kentucky's Marshal's Office is based in Lexington and its jurisdiction includes Harlan County where Raylan was born and raised and which he thought he had escaped for good in his youth. Not only does Raylan find himself back home, a lot of those that he grew up with aren't on the same side of the law as him and that proves to be a problem. He also has to deal with his ex-wife whom he still has feelings for. Throughout the series, although there's a lot of petty crimes and large crimes to solve, season six culminates with Raylan and his frenemy Boyd's rivalry, complicated by the betrayal of someone close to both of them. This series really ends on a high note and I have to say, throughout all six seasons, none of them are a disappointment. Now as for the cast of Justified, Timothy Oliphant plays U.S. Deputy Marshal Raylan Givens. Nick Searcy is Chief Deputy U.S. Marshal Art Mullen, Raylan's boss. Jolie Carter is Ava Crowder. Jacob Pitts is Deputy U.S. Marshal Tim Gutterson. Erica Tazel is Deputy U.S. Marshal Rachel Brooks. Natalie Z is Winona Hawkins. And Walton Goggins is Boyd Crowder. Justified was originally titled Lawman and was given a 13 episode order by FX back in July of 2009. It premiered in March of 2010 and FX renewed the show for a second season which premiered in February of 2011. The third season of 13 episodes was announced in, on March of 2011 and premiered in January of 2012. The fourth season of 13 episodes was announced in March of 2012 and premiered in January of 2013. The show was renewed for a fifth season which premiered in January of 2014 and in January of 2014, the series was renewed for a sixth and final season, which premiered in January of 2015. Now, the decision to end the show was primarily based on lead actor Timothy Oliphant and series developer Graham Yost. FX Network President John Landgraf said they, Yost and Oliphant, felt the arc of the show and what they had to say would be best served by six seasons instead of seven. I'm going to side with the actor and the showrunner because sometimes shows can run a little bit too long. And I think they hit their sweet spot. Six was the season that ended. It ended on a good note and everything came together. It would have just felt dragged out if they would have went further. The show was primarily shot using using red digital cinema cameras. I believe they started using the red cameras in season three and on a good HD TV you can tell it looks a whole lot better. 
The DVD and Blu-ray sets were released in Region 1 on January of 2011 for Season 1, January of 2012 for Season 2, December of 2012 for Season 3, uh, December of 2013 for Season 4, and December of 2014 for Season 5, while June of 2015 for Season 6. Now, while I don't have the Blu-ray, I'm giving the scores for the DVDs. Packaging, it's your typical DVD seasons of a show, and uh, I wanna give it a three. Nothing spectacular, but nothing bad. Content, there are special features and bonus stuff, so I'm gonna give it a 3.25. Picture, I'm going to give it a 3.25 as well. Again, the first couple of seasons were a lower standard camera, but in season three and on, they did use the red digital cameras, and it does make a difference on a high end television. Sound, I'm also going to give it a 3.25. It's your basic television series, so it's not like uh, a movie in 5 or 7.1 surround sound. But it does do the job and it does sound good on a high-end system. So altogether, it's going to be a 3.19. Not bad, not bad at all. This is another show if you haven't watched, I highly, highly recommend. It's very good. And again, from start to finish, there are no low points, which is absolutely amazing for a TV show. All right, that's all I've got for today. Please like, share, subscribe. Can't wait to get some more out to you. I'll see you again. Stay positive, stay blessed.